the Funko King. Peace. Okay, so we've got a lot of requests. Yeah. We've had a lot of people reach out and say, can you please do another room tour? Yeah. Can you please do another room tour? And Everyone we, loves a room tour. Everybody loves a room Who tour. Who doesn't love a room tour? So we thought, you know what? It is probably time. It's been a while, and we have literally doubled our collection. Keep in mind, we've been collecting for what? Like two years? Yeah, probably just over. Yeah, so keep that in mind while you're watching. Just But know, you, we decided, back. okay, we've gone pretty much double in value. Double in pops. We've gotten heavy in the soda game. Yeah. We've made some amazing friends and amazing deals along the way. So our collection total value is what right now? Like 40,000, I think. Yeah, we have not near obviously that much into it. We've, yeah, we've no. made some awesome deals yep, along the way. Yeah, and we've got some crazy investments and all that. But we also are gonna be showing a never before seen room of Ooh. Funko Pops. Never. I mean, it was shown if you were beginning. a very beginning. That's where we used to do all our videos. And then we switched to this giant room. But there are so many Pops in there that we've never shown off in videos. Yeah. And we yeah. thought it's finally the time. Yeah. To so show here, here it is behind us. There's our boy Marvin. And he thought, you know, let's give this another run. Yeah. Let's give this another So we're going to be showing off all these pops super in detail. So all right. popcorn or something. It's Let's go. I feel like every time I walk in this studio and we look around, I'm like, this would be the coolest Funko store. Like if I walked into a shop that had these pops, I would be going bananas. And that's how you got to feel about your collection. I really believe that. When you walk in the room where you keep your pops... It should excite you every time. That's the difference between us and a lot of people's. Is a yeah. lot of people just have stacks of pops, and I don't mind that. I like that yeah. actually. But so each his own. You got to change it up a little to keep things exciting. Yeah, so. and you got to collect what you like. And we think we've organized it and done that really well. So yeah. hopefully so you guys enjoy below. this a lot. See what you think. See what we could do better. Yeah, uh, we're proud of it. We we're excited about it. Yeah. And uh, but comment below. What would you do <laughs> yeah. different? We got to get started. We got to start. Now. I know. But I really want to know, because everybody has a different way they show their pops. What would you do different? Because we've got the same shelf system, but mom didn't want a complete 360 shelves. We had to break it up. We had to make it look fun. We had to make it look artistic. <laughs> See if we did that. See what you think. <laughs> Whatever, take. <laughs> Let's go. All right. So we thought we'd start on probably my, well, I like all the walls. Yeah, but this, this is, is kind no of my wall. wall. This is my wall. This is the one wall where I don't have full control. That's right. This is my controlled wall. So we went with a little bit of a baseball meets basketball sports theme, but it kind of took on a life of its own. So one of my favorite pops, one of my all time grails is Ken Griffey Jr. I sourced this pop forever. It took me so long to get my hands on a minty one. I kept finding boxes that weren't mint, and then I finally got my hands on a minty Ken Griffey Jr. It's probably in my top five pops, surrounded by amazing sodas. Yep, given to us. Given to us by an amazing guy out here in Phoenix. Um, who runs a great Facebook uh, group for Funko. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's hooked us up along the last couple of years beyond belief. So those Marvin, Huckleberry, surrounding King Griffey, because you're at the ballpark, you need your sodas. Yep. It made sense. And then you got Major League. Mm -hmm. We got our Major League. We got, obviously got our Chase. We got that combo at uh, Toy Temple. Ooh, um, then we go over here with our little Dundee Award Funko yeah. King. It's a trophy. You know, it's a trophy. In there. But back up to Sandlot. So we've got our Smalls. And we've got our Ham. And, yeah. and he's pounded down. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he's a baseball dude, though. In the but pop. it's been fun, right? Like, I just got the dog for yeah. Christmas this year. We're only I, missing one of them. I yeah, think. we're missing one. We're missing one. Uh, but you know, squints, it's all good. And then we just got a couple it's out of box, good. a couple out of box that we just love, yeah. right? I got my macho man now. I got to shine my light on that because that right there is to me from macho man, Randy Savage. And this was probably when I was younger than you, Tate. I was probably 12, 13, all into WWF wrestling, went down, waited in line, got an autograph, the lovely Elizabeth, 
Nailed it. All right. And then we've got what we've shown before. For seven bucks a pop signature series. Uh, what are you going to say, Tate? Like, awesome, right? You got to love that <laughs> I got Dwight. nothing to say. You got Dwight. Dwight. That's something I have to say. That's an amazing pop. Yeah, it is an amazing pop. And then we've got our Michael Scott out of box next to MJ. So, again, yep. we take a step back. This wall is super cool because it is just, it's not just shelves. It's not just shelves. It's got a little bit of swag. It's got a little bit of my favorite things. And then take Moving on take to over. Marvel. All right, there and you this go. This is a lot of pops, so we're just going to fly through it. Yeah. But we got all our 10-inch zombies up there, and those were a lot of fun. Those are great 10-inch pops. Yeah. And we and those got have evolved, our, like these two guys right here at Christmas. Yeah, we just got those 10-inch Galactuses, that Silver Surfer's falling over. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And then we got tons of Marvel sodas. We got most of the chases. Yep. I love the Blacklight Thor chase. We can do more of those. Black so what we've enjoyed is putting those sodas in line, obviously in our Marvel section above these pops. Yeah. And we wouldn't want to break them up for what you see later with our soda collection. Yeah. Because it works good, right? You love that, Tate. Then on this shelf, you have a bunch of random Marvel pops. You got like a lot of the Spider-Man villains. You got Moon Knight coming up. I know a trailer is on Monday football. They're going to have yeah, it. Yeah, that'll be fun. Doctor Doom, Red Goblin, and then a zombie leading right into our Marvel zombie shelf. Right here, mm -hmm. we have just tons of the zombies and mm -hmm. even the mystery minis. I think that this right here, I there's something about these Marvel zombies that I love and I don't love. Yeah. But seeing them all together, yeah, makes that really go well. Like I like just that entire section. And then right under, we got a Venomized, which makes a lot of sense. Sorry, we got a little light on a few. That's, all, that's right. all right. I mean, you've all seen these pops. Yep, yep, yep. And these also have the minis. They look really good together. And uh, I love the Venomized Green Goblin. I'd say he's one of the best. And moving right on over here, we have more Venomized and just tons of Venom, normal Venom yeah. pops. All right, and then we'll Carnage. go quick down in here. Spider-Man. Yep. This is a really cool shelf. You got not too many normal Spider-Mans, but there are just a lot of fun pops right there. And then moving down, you got some more random ones. You have the Avengers games. And there's a couple behind, of course, we have pops hidden. Like everyone has yeah, to Yeah, we've reached that point in the last year, and that's part of double in the collection. We yeah. got stuff in the back. Not ideal, but it is what it is. I mean, they're just pop. You can always change them out. And then some more random pops. These ones aren't like the best. The ones at the bottom, but they're All so right. cool. There's some good ones over here. Get that light on these guys, because we got a nice little Thundercat down there. We saw some of those earlier today as we were out. You'll see that on another video. And then we go up. I got some of my favorite ones right here. I this love that orange bird. Disney collection. Yeah. We don't have too many Disney pops. But I'll tell you, we all know that one. A Steamboat Willie OG got that from the same guy here in Phoenix that gave us those sodas. Um, I love that Steamboat Willie. The box is a little damaged, but in the sock protect, you can't tell. <laughs> then you got tons of Daredevil pops yeah. that we just got. They are so cool. Those are some of my new favorites. Yep. Then moving up, you got Deadpool, full of Deadpools. Full of Deadpools. What's your favorite one? There's so many, but Absolutely. they're all so cool. All right, so that oh, takes gosh. care of Marvel. I'm gonna take Not a step yet. back. Oh yeah, my bad, there, there's more. <laughs> first, I'm gonna take a step back. Big row. This is what we've seen so far. Then moving on to probably dad's favorite section. Yeah, this have. is kind of my go-to, and this entire section is dedicated Start to the up. cap. Okay. Start at the very bottom. So we're going right to go down, down here. here. We're going to get right into this guy. We absolutely love turning this thing on, letting it spin. When the room's dark and we got lighting kind of staggered throughout, it just it works. It's just cool. Yeah. I think if you have this pop, you need a spinner or else you only get to see like two of them. Yeah. So this spinner goes on full blast all yeah. the time. We Which just it. makes this set of pops one of the coolest. Yeah, absolutely. And then we go up. So again, something to break up the monotony of just stacks of shelves. So we kind of wanted to break this up, get a little bit of the superhero theme, even though this entire section is capped. 
All right, we're gonna start probably in this cap section are three or four of my favorite pops of all time. And they just happen to be cap. That was one that early in the game, I said, I wanna get my hands on as many caps as possible. Now I know there's something I'll probably never get because they're just crazy, crazy pricing. Yeah. Um, but I got already some of the ones I wanted the most. We have a huge difference of like comic caps and yes. movie caps, just changing it up. So as you can see, I love that 2015 Unmasked. If you go up here though, always in my top five is that Barnes & Noble. I'm such a diehard, like black and white, gray. I just think there's something about those kind oh, of Oh, go right cool. above it. I added that. That's the Winter Soldier yes. from the Captain America Winter Soldier. And he has the shield. I thought that was perfect. Yeah, that is cool. And then we obviously got our die cast. Probably my top five pop. You'll hear me say that a lot tonight, <laughs> but it's true. I like the King Griffey. This is one that I source for ever and ever right and ever. And you ever. have that green guy. He's uh, Steve Rogers is in there, so we got yeah. that work. Yeah. Then you got that random World War II right next to the other yeah. World War II. Very Those cool. All right, and then you just go up, and we have got caps upon caps upon caps. Tons of Endgame. And then you got a bunch from the Winter Soldier and Falcon show. Yep. And some art series. And then we come down, we got our Venomized. And there's some caps in here that I think are like, they're fair at best, but, but I- they're... Whenever one comes out, you try to get it. Yeah, we try to get it in it. And then for special Christmas, birthday, I source an expensive cap. That's yeah. kind of my go-to. So as I step back, I'm gonna look again, you see what we see every day. And there is that spinner right up into the Captain America. Once we leave Cap, we probably go to your most favorite section? Yeah, um, because a lot of the other ones have tons of comics. This is like mostly all MCU, which yeah. I think are the coolest Marvel pop. All right, so let's start up with the black light. We've done really well sourcing and getting and paying our dues and showing up to Target super early on Father's Day, Mother's Day. We've been out there for these black light pops from the jump, right? Yep, we, yeah, that was one of our very first, like, big videos we did. Yeah, so I would say getting our hands on Ghost Rider, thanks to Caesar down at Pop Hunt Thrills, and Hulk, Venom. thanks to you for Christmas. <laughs> and Carnage. We got most of the high-level pops that you would need. We're just missing a couple. Of yeah, them. and this is what we're saying. We Our value of our collection is really high, but we've done so well sourcing at low prices or bundle deals yeah. or whatnot that we've been able to attain and, and do this for of not course, that price. getting tons for just retail, like the Iron Man and the Spider-Man. Yeah, those huge. have gone up crazy. Same with Carnage. Yeah. All right, so then we go down the road. These we get are in. all our Iron Mans and Stan Lee. Yes. And then a couple of random Thanos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Including so you, Punisher Thanos, uh, which is Punisher. one of the yeah, That's why he's out of box, because he is awesome. <laughs> and little yeah. guy on top. Yeah. All right, so then we go down and we got some Funko Shop exclusives. Like, this is our only way we were going to get Red Skull right now. Oh, yeah. He's sweet looking. He Stone is sweet. Keeper. You got tons of Thors, Lokis. Black Panther, Doctor Strange. Our favorite, my favorite Thor wow. that we have. I love <laughs> Compared it. Compared to the other two, yeah. I love that Thor. Yeah, he's so sweet. Every time I see that Thor in somebody's background, I go drooling because I think it looks <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. All right, Loki, whatever. All right, <laughs> I'm going to go down here. Here you have our Guardians of the Galaxy collection. Yeah. Really cool. We got tons of groups. And then you got a random cosmic ghost rider, which, which I think is one of the Within the next year, our goal is to get a few of those gray alicious ghost riders. Okay. That's yeah, my plan. The, you got the Chase Star Lord Yondu. Yep. And then you got our Disney Plus WandaVision collection right yep. there. Those yep. are really cool looking. Now they, they these they did a great job. This on was these. one of the best lines of last year. They did a sure. great great job on these, no doubt. And we're barely missing any. And then we got what if, just kind of random ones, and then the non Captain America Falcon Winter Soldiers. All right, so there we are from our Marvel section, black light cap, ten inch, still looking at Marvel, and then my little crazy section of baseball so. sports. So there we are. That's right our now. first big wall done. Yeah, that's we one got, wall. Like, two more 
giant walls yes. and then a whole new room. All right, so as we transition to another wall, we go down, just some fun stuff there, down to our big guy. Yeah, forgot. Big guy with, you know, we gotta have Coochie Kobe on top. Of course. We gotta have him just ride in the wave of the Iron Man. So we got him on a nice pedestal, obviously out of box, looking good. Okay, and then you've got the some random, you got some 10 inch Star Wars up there. Yep. And a bunch of Baby Yoda Grogu's, just tons. There you go. There's All right, so let's start over here. Here we have some random like action ones. You got Baby Driver, Die Hard, Fight Club, which are two of my favorite pops. And then you have one of the best shows, the boys, we've got all of those. We got every boys. Yep. Papa made. Oh, those pops are so good. Cannot wait till They're season so good. three. So these are just some of our favorite shows, movies. Yeah. And then you got ad icons starting with the Sour Patch Kids. You have all of them, including the lime. Boom, boom, of boom. Course. That was a big one at the time. Still, Still is. is. Why are we? Why are we so flashy on it? It is bright. Yeah, well, it's that giant case you got. All right, so yeah, that's stacked up. Is, that's stocked up. We yeah, got you know she's Hostess. right there. Yeah. All those silver guys. Which are cool. Yeah, they're cool. All right. And then moving down, you have more ad icons, tons of toucans. You got Jackbox. We got a lot of toucans, cereal guys. Yeah, and we showed this off a little few weeks ago, but that toucan, that wood one looks sweet. Yeah, out of box. and then moving down, we got one of my favorite ad icon sections, tons of Pillsbury Doughboys. Yeah. Icy Bear, Coca-Cola Bear, super cool. And then okay. just some random pops down there. Yeah. Nothing too crazy, Nothing but too just crazy. cool ones we Just got cool, over the years. and then of course the man. Always yeah. come back to him. <laughs> And then move into this side right here. Mm -hmm. We start with some of the first sodas we've seen, besides Marvel, of course. So you got Freddy, and then you got Bob Ross, Mr. Monopoly, Todd Ingram, Freddie Mercury, all those Green Hornet guys. Super cool, super old ones. Mm, yes, 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 yes. And more sodas. These are some of our favorites. Being I'm a Thundercats guy, Goonies. This is literally Duck Dad's Dodgers. row right here. I love everything about it. I love HR Puff and stuff. I like Rap Fink. I don't know about Powder Puff Girls, but whatever. <laughs> That's but okay. Boy. All of these. And we're diehard Freddy people. So yeah, that, Bob Ross. I mean, this whole section is money. Then you go down one. We got a ton of Christmas ones. Yep. Yukon Chase. Chili Willy Chase. Woody Woodpecker, Pogo, Crash. Yeah, so there's just just taking a step back, looking at our soda in this section. I love the way you say soda. Soda. You're like, like a, a Canadian. Canadian. Soda. <laughs> soda. Like soda. I love, I got a lot of right. soda. Now here's where we get this dirty. This is probably my favorite section we This have. is like our kung fu movie, <laughs> hardcore. Kung fu. Kung fu? Look at my guy Bruce. John Wick is super kung fu. Look at Bruce. I know. He started this. Wait this is the minute, Godfather, guys. baby. Wait a minute. What are we doing? Look at it. This was a custom pop. Yeah. So that that's not a real pop. That's a custom signed by the guy who did it. Yeah. No, Which, what's sick. his name? Rudy something. Rudy Ramirez. Rudy Ramirez. So, yeah, that's cool. And then you got all these Kill Bill for Christmas. Yep. So cool. And then you got jewels, of course. Jewels, and we're on the hunt. We saw a little Vincent Vega today, but the box was a little crinkly, so we passed. John Wick, Kingsman, like just the best movies. Yeah. Kingsman. And then you got our comedy right below that. Yep. You have Dumb and Dumber, Super Bad, we're missing Seth. And then you have Step Brothers, of course. Then you have all the Anchorman guys. Those are some of my favorites. And then a uh, 40 year old virgin. All right, so now let me get into some, just kind of some random. Or, no, these are all comedy, too. Oh, yeah, just I guess it down. is, huh? Okay, so you got Chubbs, Kim Pine, Zoolander. Then you got all those Office Space guys, too. That's one of Mommy's favorites. Yeah. All right, and then finish down here with a little uh, Zombie Land. And then the Shining Jack ones. Finish it off. Yes. Love it. So there they are. Love it. So Two more shelves done. You can see, though, what we pride ourselves in is organization of these pops, right? Between our Marvel section, 
a 10 inch. We've tried to really do at least us a good service in how we present. So it stays clean, it stays organized. When people walk in the house, they're like, man, it doesn't look just like crazy stuff everywhere. There's a method to the madness. And uh, Tate, you you did all this. This is yeah. all on you, man. You a lot a of it job. has purpose, like just the way it is. So. Yeah. All right. Won't go into everything. So like now that. I'm going to take a flash back. We are going to go. Here's on the one side of the room. We just looked through. Yeah. Right, here's the whole shebang. Move into our main filming. Yeah, so this is where we set up. This is usually right behind us. We'll start at DC, do you think? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so, oof, got a lot of DC pops. Even more in the other room, but yeah. these are the ones we kept out here. All of these Suicide Squad pops, we got pretty much most of them. And then you got tons of Jokers. Mark Hamill, Blacklight. And you have both two faces, Riddler, 18 inch Batman, of course. Have to be there. With Dark City on his head, why not? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Then you have tons of Jokers up there. Uh -huh. Harley Quinn. Then you have a bunch of Supermans, different Batman variants. Then you have. T right here is our main Batman little area. We got all the Batman pops, tons of chrome. All. But <laughs> no, 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 don't take that. We got all of them. We have all every five thousand. Batman pops. No, no, we got some great, yeah, yeah. great, great Batman pops, no yeah, doubt. Yeah. But again, cool shelving. It's yeah. kind of Batman's kind of so our thing. This off, like all together. But this is the one we knew from the start. We wanted DC to be out of box. We want a Marvel in box. We want a DC out of box, and uh, it works for us. Yeah. It's, it's cool. So as we go up. here, here we have the your chrome guys. This and this little guy up here, I thought it was kind of cool. You had like the bat sign showing in the Joker. I thought that was yeah, 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 interesting like later. All right, there. and then we go up and we got our probably my favorite Batman of all. It's the three thousand piece Funko Con or Funko Ween exclusive Harvest Batman. I just love it. I've always loved it. Um, and then we go up to the prototype, the one and only that we got. Uh, we got that grandma, and we love it. Yeah. Fred Blundstone. I mean, it's just awesome. And we got our Freddy Funkos, our most expensive pops. Yeah, sure. so our little transition to this shiny guy <laughs> yep, he shifts us on. over here. So let's, let's start, start down breaking these low, down. maybe. Yeah, so we here. got Dumb and Dumber to start. We have the blue and the orange, of course. Yes. They're yes. 5,000 and 2,000 pieces. Yep. Then you have Grease. He's what? How many pieces? 800. 800. Then you've got Freddy Funko's Baywatch guy. 450. That's our most limited. Piece. And then your big got dog. A big pop. This is our most expensive pop we have. Our Obviously, like Grail. Yeah. Delicious. This is this was a big deal. Everybody saw that video last drop. That yeah. was a well, fun, fun experience to go do. Go watch that video. Yeah, that All right. Crazy. And then we go to two of my favorite. Yeah. These are one of the earliest pops we got when yep. we started collecting. We got the pink. And it took us a lot, a while to source that dark one. It was like no. couldn't find it, or vice versa. My guy, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got yeah. the we got the the black the black cuphead first. Yeah, yeah. And could not find the pink one to save our life in mint condition. But to have two five hundred pieces together, I in know mint, that. Like, mint. People just look for that. Yeah, forever. I keep getting offers, eight hundred bucks. Then you have. Skull Trooper Freddy. Yep. And then you have Freddy Funko Surf's Up Box of Fun. Now we have most of these Box of Fun. Tons of Box of Fun. So All right, go, so up. We'll go up. Two Basketball Freddies. One is a Comic Con, one is Box of Fun. Then you have Merman, Surfer, Rick. Then you have Metallic HR Puff and stuff. Then you have like a bunch of space looking guys. And then you got Super another. Hero. Two superheroes, yep. two metallic like robots. Yeah, okay, we're gonna shift back. Going up, we have some random, not like the best ones, but just really cool ones. Yeah, but pretty cool one. I like this pop Asian That one. Asian one is so cool. It's really cool. Then you have another space dude, and then you have these two. And then you have the Halloween and Christmas. Yeah, okay. Beckford. All right, so there is our current Freddy collection. Okay. Then so. we go up into a little bit of a Looney Tunes line. We obviously are diehard Looney Tunes people. 
uh, we're Die Hard Marvin the Martian beyond that. So this bottom line is kind of all of the above. We love our Duck Dodgers. We are getting close, close, close on these Marvins. I'm looking for that green, Tons the mean green. Marvins. But we love that Saturday morning cartoon. You can see a thousand piece, 2,500 piece. We got six Marvins. Yeah, so there And the way it like goes a... from Space Cadet to Marvin perfectly is just so great. Yes. All right, then you get up into some Space Jam. Yep, Bugs, Lola, and then you got all those superheroes. And, and then back into some really good Looney Tunes. That Gossamer was one we just got our hands on. Uh, very cool. We saw, in a video that will drop soon, we saw uh, Wiley Coyote, Roadrunner. All these Looney Tunes old school ones are amazing. Then you got more Looney Tunes up there. Yeah, and goes, tons and of goes, bugs. It goes all the way to the space ceiling. Space Jam, tons of Space Jam. All the way to the ceiling. OG Space Jam. What? New Almost space lost control. Jam. Yeah. Got all. So this is. I want to back up. I'm gonna back up, and you're gonna see. This is kind of what is behind us. All the way to the ceiling, okay? And then we scroll, Whoop. and then here we go. So this is this whole deal, this whole, well, I'm gonna zoom out a little so you get a little perspective. You're gonna see where we are so far. Right. This is what we've done. Move on to the last two normal shelves in this room. All right, so we go more 10 inch. We got our huckleberries. We got our chase huckleberries. We got them bookended by some masters of the universe. Yep. We had to throw out our Skeletor, because why, why not? not? Ooh, what not? Why not? <laughs> and then we go into a little bit of our Rides collection. Yeah, uh, those Yeah, it's just cool. Just change it up. Yep. So it's fun. All right, so we'll go back down here into our amazing DC soda. Soda? DC sodas. These are the best sodas for sure. Yes. I'd have to say. All right, so this was a right at the... Christmas of our first year collecting, we blew your mind. And my goal was let's get our hands on these first run sodas while we can, as cheap as we can. And we did a bundle bundle buy from a guy here in town. You and this is when I'm saying our value is high in this collection, but we're into it for way, way less. So on the first row here, we have the whole bat family, tons of bat chases, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. And then going down, we got the Justice League and their friends, super friends. And then right below that, you got all the villains, of course. Yes, okay. All right, so as we transition down, we obviously go Umbrella Academy, one of our favorite shows. It's hopefully that next season's coming out soon. And these are organized by number. So you There's start with Luther, who's number one. Mm -hmm. Then you go to Diego, who's number two. Both seasons, of course. Allison, and then Klaus. We have every Umbrella Academy pop. Of course, a bunch are hidden, because yeah, yeah, there's yeah. not enough room, but. Klaus, number five, Ben, young Ben, of course. Of course. And then you've got Vanya, bunch of Vanyas. And then Baby, Pogo, Pogo, Cha-Cha, and Pete. Okay, and then we get into our one of our favorite shows of all time. Yup. Parks and Rec. We got tons now, of Rons, these yeah. are all Rons. Unfortunately, we don't have a ton of Andy. Yeah. That would be fun that. to have. All those Andy Dwyers that are super pricey, but that's all right. Okay. We go down, we go more. We got Janet and Bert, of course. Who couldn't have those? And then you have Ben, all these Leslie's. And then Leslie Good and Place. These pops are super cool as well. All right, and then we finish down low. With, with Masters of just, the Universe. We started going down the Masters of the Universe line and we finally said no, and no, we're just no. collecting Skeletors and our favorites, so. Yeah, that's it, that's all we're doing. Yeah. All right, so there you have it on this row. Okay, and then moving on we to the next. switch over here. You got tons of fantastic plastics. Our Proto Punk from Box of Fun. These are, all, of course, all of the ones Funko made themselves. So. Yep, yep. Then you have Hanna-Barbera. Yep, Tons and I love Mystery Science Theater. Yeah. I love it, I love it, I love it. And so I saw this, and even though we don't have the other one, I grabbed you it, because I love it. Yeah. All right, then we got our Huckleberry Hounds, back from your Comic-Con days. Blue Falcon, because I am the Blue Falcon in my <laughs> fantasy football league, so I had to grab it. 
We actually saw Dino Mutt today and I passed, still kicking myself, a amazing blue velvety Scooby-Doo, which these, these blue, what is it? Blue, what are the other colors? We saw them today Green, also. Green, pink. Yeah, pricey, pricey, pricey. And I love this Hair Bear Bunch. I, I don't know why these aren't more expensive. Yeah. I mean, look at these numbers on there. 2,000 piece New York Comic Con. 750 piece and it's like 50 bucks like uh, crazy out there no, comment no, below the why splits. Uh, this we love though yep this we love especially with the sodas coming out thousand. yeah those are cool these are cool we love it we love that banana split line we bought them all as a group from a guy here in phoenix and then, then all the bob's burgers pops yeah everyone i'm Every pretty sure we got all of them comment below are we missing one i don't think so only one Linda, one Bob, and one Teddy. And then you got all the kids multiple times over. No side characters yet. I really hope they do. All right, and side. then we drop below, and we've got kind of our out of box music, fun. Like, I just love these guys out of box. There's something fun about these guys. It's like they're having just a party back pop there. Pop rocks. Yeah, it's like pop rocks, all of the albums, like I just, section to me is just money all right so again this is probably one of my favorite out of box sections because they're just having a good time and these are all my people from back in the day with the tupac and the biggie and the run dmc jimmy i just man it's just great it's you just go great. straight down from his section Zoom. to my section yeah and that's all the night kinks yeah besides of course freddie which couldn't be put down nah, here nah, we had to put that up top yeah. right in the center cut Got every possible Night King you can imagine, uh -huh. even to sign one right there. Yep, even your mask. This is Halloween. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a cool section because out of box, those things blue. We go with those blue lights behind them, they shine so yep. bright. And then underneath, a little more Game of Thrones action out of box. Dragons, thrones, mm -hmm. animals. We kind of keep all. that out there in case the two puppies want to go sideways with a pop, they get their hands on that and they don't yeah. play with anything else. Yeah. All right, so that is literally probably this full three quarters of the studio. This is most of it, so don't click off though, because we got tons more. Woo! All right, now this is the section that we just finished over Christmas. We obviously got our man, he deserves spotlight, he deserves his own place in the studio. We oh, need those red eyes, though. We need those red eyes. Yeah. All right. But then we start going up the wall. I'm going to go a quick flash out. And we're going to bring it back in. Yep. All right. Break it down. What do we got? Tons of Hanna-Barbera to start off. Also old cartoons. Yeah. But mostly Hanna-Barbera. Tons of chases. Old chases. Yeah, this again, we went after that first line of sodas on purpose. We got a great deal on them. Man, they have skyrocketed in value yeah and then moving right over you got all of the ad icons these are our most expensive sodas for sure big boy you got all the old cereal ad icons all the chases yeah Besides except for fruit, fruit brew. brew we passed on it in hindsight uh, it is what it and is then you got my favorite pops probably are all the breaking bad best show ever made for sure so we did, we had, uh, most of these are out of box the way we purchased them. We got a few in box. Yeah. We took that Heisenberg out. We put them on a bunch of, what are those inside there? Uh, that's what they use in the show. They're like candy rocks or yeah, something. Yeah, candy rocks. And you have Vince Gilligan being run over by the bus. Yep. And then moving right on up, you have a couple more ad icons. And then our Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, we got pretty much all of those. No chase for the turtles, but that's okay. Uh -huh. And right over here, we start with the He-Mans. Tons of Masters of the Universe. Very good. And then we showed you briefly. Here's a little bit of the horror. Yep. Obviously, we don't have a huge horror line, but it, the, the ones that we have, the yeah. ones that we like. Yeah. And then it goes into Snake Plissken and John Wick. Neo. Then you got Disney all the way up there. AP Miguel. Tons of Blacklight. Chase Mad Hatter. Not too many like crazy ones up no. there. No. Chase Mickey. Chases. Yeah. And then we got that AP Miguel. Yep. So all that's right. our soda wall show it one more time before yep. we move on. I'm going to back it out. So there we go. Right up above our viewing pleasure. Moving Watching all right you guys on YouTube. To Star Wars. Bottom. This is the prequels, of course. 
with Darth Maul sign right above another mm -hmm. Darth Maul. Count yeah. Dooku lightsaber. Tons of Ahsokas. And then Darth Maul's and Count Dooku. Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan. Moving up, you got tons of bounty hunters and then Mandalorian pops. Yeah. The Bad Batch, Boba Fett, tons of Boba Fett. Sign Moff Gideon by Gus himself. Then you have the original, of course, Luke, Leia, Yoda, Darth Vader. Tons of Darth Vader pops. All right, so when you take a step back and you look at this wall, you're seeing a lot of really cool Star Wars pops, but they're displayed to perfection. You yeah. got the lightsaber in between. You got him on his own stand. You even got some fig pins, Darth Maul. We're really into Darth Maul. He's one of the coolest. Yeah, so we are, we're very proud of this site. We love seeing all of your guys' sites on the uh, Star Wars and how you display, but connected to everything soda-wise and just the way we have our lighting on this thing just pops. Yeah, so now we're moving on to a brand new room. That's right. All right, so as we transition out of here, I'm gonna give you one big walk around and you're gonna see all this in action. Look at this. Woo! This is double, guys, double. The last room tour. Okay. Double the amount of pops, and now we're going to our secret vault yeah. that we have never shown. Yep. Stay tuned. All right, so we're in the vault. Yep. This is one of the old rooms in the house that we just decided, okay, these pops need to go somewhere because they're too cool, and we got to display them somehow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But they're not the worthy of the studio at this point. Yeah, they're not tons of grails, but they're still really cool pops. So these are just a lot of the boxes of some of the pops you saw out there. And then a couple out of box that we just haven't put them back in because it's a little lazy, but that's okay. And then all these down here like that. So again, just a cool, another shelf, another yes. box. Another if you're wondering where we keep the hundreds of boxes. Yeah, they're In everywhere. here, in boxes, in... All right, so here we just turned in the other room in the vault, and we've got a lot of what? Tape mixed uh, bag. Yeah, Disney, Rick and Morty, Papa L. <laughs> don't really know. Got tons of Ricks. Yeah. These we got for really cheap, just deals on deals. Yep. And they're just cool to have in here. All right, and then a lot of these Funko stickers came from our guy here in town that gave us these just... He's just being generous. He wanted yeah. you to have all this kind of stuff. And you'll recognize this area if you watched our other videos, of course. This yep. is where we used to this film everything. This is where we right at the beginning. Then you have quickly outgrew of this. Add icons here. Tons. There's no way we could possibly go through all these. No. Like, Otter Pops, McDonald's, Peeps. Like just tons of stuff. Just tons of stuff. And then going up. We have Stranger Things. These are all of our Stranger Things. And then randomly, Alice Cooper. Well, he lives right around us. We're yeah. gonna get that signed. Yep. All right. And then you come over here. These are our Pez and our Pocket Pops. They look cool in our some of our pins, box tag, top uh -huh. pop. Our favorite people in the game. Yep. Mm -hmm. Then you have one of my favorite sections of all time yes is the office you have pretty much every office if you want to see how many there are oh my gosh we're only missing like five or six and just zoom in on all the dwights all the michaels all jims pams everything you can imagine and then right on top we got out of box pokemon randomly we're trying to find a better home for them but that's just kind of where they stick and where right they now. fell so We've got some good Pokemon in here though. The right stickers, right everything, but we got them out of box right now. Yeah. And then you could even just go through the lines of office really quick. Yeah. You have Moe's, Daryl, Stanley. These are all the side characters. Creed, Oscar, Phyllis, Meredith, Kelly and Ryan, Jan. Then you got Jim. Tons of gems. Only two Pams they've only made, which she doesn't do too much, so. Mm. Dress, I mean, she's obviously the main character. Non 
new one there for us. We just yeah. got it in. It's super cool. Here you got our Dwight and all of our calendar and mystery minis, all those fun guys. So we have got every single one except for what, Creed Chase? And then Creed, like, specialty series, and then just a couple commons we're missing. But All right, so... That's about it. But that is a huge section in this room. Yeah. All right, then we're going to turn to our final little section. Yep. We got Deadpool 10-inch with Batman on. Uh-huh, because why not? He on in Batman There's section. a Heisenberg box. There's another Freddy randomly in here, not in yeah. the Freddy section. Obviously, this isn't as organized as the main room, but right. still up there. Here's some of our Star Wars and our bigger pops we don't have in there. Then here's all of our, these Batmans we don't have outside. So yeah. if you guys see any of these that you think should be out there. Let us know. What, what should room? be out there? What is, what is in this hidden room that should be in the studio? Because we have just tons of Batman just sitting in here. Some are really cool, too. Then you have Joker. Then Harley Quinn, tons of Jokers. Then you have some DC Superman, you got Star Wars. You got all sorts of fun. All right, so there you have it. Here is a room you had never seen. Is there anything in here? Office, Batman, Star Wars, Pokemon, all of these ad icons, all of this Rick and Morty, all of this Stranger Things. Is there anything that you say, oh my gosh, how is that not out in the studio right behind you filming? That pop is my favorite. Let us know. Yep. And that about wraps it all up. That was a really long video, but... All right, y'all. That about does it. That was our full room tour 2021 close beginning of 2022 Ace we might do this next year every year we'll do a new one i don't know if we'll double anymore oh I, I don't slow think down I can as you can see we don't have any room we're out of space and yeah that oh. is ace the bad dog it's the bad dog not bad dog bat dog, bat ace dog. The, look at these ears that's Ace the Bat Dog, oh, Kevin he, Kevin Hart. He's keeping him down. Why are you keeping him down? <laughs> He's a little scared. <laughs> That's okay. So all right, tons of bops. Of course, you just saw tons of them. Yeah. It's all you can want. What are you going to do? Really? This is our whole world. This has become everything. This yeah. is our entire hobby. If you made it all the way to the end here, which we're just doing our outro, so I'm sure you all clicked off, but... If you haven't, props to you. Let us know. Yeah, we'll send supporter. you something over the mail. All <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the money flip. Where house? What? Wow. Ooh, here's Marvin, by the way. Five hundred dollar Marvin, right there. Can you believe it? Oh yeah, it's the dude. dude, man. It's the dude. It's the dude. This is our life. Dude, this is where we are all the time. Dude. Right on the screen. It's the dude. It's the dude, man. Orange guy. It brings, the the, it brings the room together. It really brings the room together, man. It's the, it's the dude.